Oh no, she goddamn isn't. And I will let her explain to you exactly why not. Babes, in fact, let me turn this around for a minute. So why are you not allowed to go to your boy's house to watch Netflix? Because I'll get pregnant again. Do you understand? Okay, and as much as I love this little thing here, I do not want to increase my babysitting duties by 100%. Okay, famous... Cactus. <laughs> you are so right. I should have given my daughter a lesson in contraception. So, even though I am dyslexic, I've done some research and it turns out there's actually a brand called Durex that can help. I think this one will do the trick and look, ultimate protection. Sorted. Well, I reckon if she paints maybe one, two coats of that on her baby maker, it will be water resistant, so impervious to all liquids. I cannot wait to get home and tell my daughter that she can now shag who she wants. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's try this one again. This is for all the people commenting, telling me to put my daughter on contraception. Read the video description. It clearly says, hashtag comedy. Now, backstory. My daughter doesn't have a mother, so I play that role. At 15, she came to me and said, and by the way, I am paraphrasing now. If you don't know what that means, Google it. I am not here to educate you. She said, Dad, I'm quite curious. I think I'm about to shag a boy. We went to the doctors. She got the implant, which remained there until she was 21. Then her and her fiancé sat me down and said, we want to have a baby. I said, let's go and buy a dog. They didn't listen. I now have a three-year-old best friend called Gracie. I don't wish anyone ill will at all, but I hope that you all constantly run out of milk. 